Welcome back to Making Something From Nothing. I'm Richard, and today we're going to be doing a favor for a friend, Joe Hildreth, over on the YouTube channel called My Heat, needs some parts made. Over on Joe's channel, he's doing a restoration on his Atlas lathe, and he needs a couple of parts for his quill lock for the tailstock. So I wanted to go ahead and help him out since he doesn't have his lathe operational to make these parts. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So I hope you'll stick around and watch some custom parts made for Joe over at the YouTube channel called My Heap. Well, first up is this quill lock washer. Simple job, eighth inch washer with a 45 degree bevel and a clearance hole for a quarter 20 bolt. Joe said the washer is hardened and the bolt could just be made out of uh, some mild steel but we're going to go ahead and use this grade 8 bolt that I have. That's hardened and tempered, so we're going to make both parts from it. So I need to hog some material off to take this washer down to 5 eighths. Well now it's time to move on to the bolt, and the bolt's pretty much straightforward. The threaded portion, 1 and 5 eighths, it's got a head thickness of 165, and it's got a square head that's 370 thousandths. Now that does present a challenge to someone without a milling machine, but I have a workaround for that. Now we're going to use the same bolt that's already chucked up and there's a lot of material that needs to come off of this thing for a quarter twenty so I just generally mark out where I need to be turning to and we're right at two hundred and fifty thousands so I'll probably just uh, maybe take a thou or two off and call it good. Well, we're right at 248, right where I want to be. Well, I'm not really sure what happened, but I made a big goof over here. This shaft is supposed to be one and five eighths long. And for some reason when I marked it out, I marked it out at one and three eighths. So I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but now I have to go ahead and fix my problem. Extend this shaft down a little bit and uh, go ahead and take this piece down to 523 thousandths. All right, so the target over here is 523, which is the diagonal of a square head 
0.37 bolt. Now this is a little trick that I came up with. I don't know if I invented it or the first person to do it, but here you can see that I'm using a tiny center drill. And I'm using it as a dead center to go ahead and support this work while I'm cutting these threads. Because you wouldn't be able to get the tool in there if you were using your regular live center. So that's a good little trick you might want to tuck away. The quarter 20 tap wasn't long enough to go all the way through the part, so I just flipped it around and taking off enough material to where I have threads going all the way through the part. Then I turned the diameter of this piece down a little bit smaller than the head of the bolt that we made. Okay, it's the next day, and I've got our little fixture set up in a 5 8 tool holder. So the lathe is all set up for milling right now, and if I take 76 and a half thousandths off of each side of this, that should leave me a square that's 370 thousandths across. I've got a 15 16 four flute end mill set up in a half inch collet. So we're going to start off slow with ten thousandths at a time, see how it goes until we reach seventy six and a half thousandths.
Well, let's see what we got here for you, Joe. Well, it's not exactly the number I was looking for. It's like about 361, and we wanted 370. So I certainly hope this uh, little bolt's going to work for you for your uh, quill lock there. I think it should. I don't think a couple of thousands is going to make a difference one way or the other. But uh, this is really a job that probably should have went on a mill, but I wanted to help you out. And this part, along with your washer, is going to be in the mail to you. Well, over on uh, Joe's channel, he's been doing a lot of work trying to get his uh, Atlas TH-54 up and running. So I encourage everybody to go check him out. Uh, I believe he's undersubscribed over there. He puts up a, a lot of good stuff. He does casting like me. He does, well, he will do lathe work like me once he gets his uh, lathe up and running. But I wanted to do my part to try and help him out. So, Joe, I got some parts coming for you. And from making something from nothing, this is Richard. And I thank everybody for watching. Y'all have a great day.